comments over Peter Obi about the 2023 election lacks common sense. Doi Okupe tells Soludo. Hey guys, this is still the GMTV Daily News Update. The Director General of the Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Council, Dr. Doi Okupe, has reacted to the comments made by Shah Sukuma Soludo, the Governor of Anambra State, on the chances of Peter Obi's success in the election has nothing to do with common sense. Recall that DJMTV has earlier reported that Charles Soludo in an article entitled History Beckon and I will not be silent part one said Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, cannot win the 2023 general election. And Soludo's comments on the chances of OB in the 2023 election have drawn reaction on and off social media. But reacting to Soludo's comment, Doin Okupe, the DG of Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Council, said the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, spoke from a position of political delusion. Ordinarily, I won't join issue with Soludo. But so that people will not get disinformed by this very unsound judgment of the political status of Labour Party in the Nigerian contest, that is the only reason why I will say one or two words, he said. Soludo must be living in another planet for him to have said so. I don't know what is blinding him for him to say that there are only two people in this race, APC and PDP. Even a blind person and a young child of 9 years old knows that this is absolute fallacy. I am overwhelmed with joy that he considered that Peter Obi will win an Amber State. That is good news. Where he messed it up completely was when he said that Peter Obi will not get 25% in maybe 4 states or the Federation. That is a joke, he added. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. The current governor. Uh, of an Amber state, but basically he has every right, you know, to air his opinion on issues. It is duty of the populace to cross check facts. I'm I'm glad that um, he says uh, the investments are nothing to write home about. Uh, in other areas, we will not be talking about a governor uh, trying to invest funds to you know for future. Uh, governors that will come so that the state can prosper. Here we're talking about investment. He says the investment uh, today do, you know, do not mean anything. Very good. But you see, we, we are not talking about a governor who stole money, a governor who instead of investing and investing in the future of the, of the state uh, has taken all the money you know, and put it in his pocket or has given it to his cronies. You know, this is what you cannot say about Peter Obi. You can say whatever you like. He is an honest man. He's transparent. He's accountable. He has integrity. He has honor. Soludo is there today. Uh, Obiano was there yesterday. You know, we we'll, we we'll pray for life, and then we will see how everybody performs. For me, it's not an issue. You know, that is just his opinion. He says the investments are not worth much. Oh well, thank God. At least somebody had some thinking. Somebody had some correct thoughts that if I put this money in an investment, maybe, you know, in future it will bring more money and the state can have access to more money. It's, uh, you know, for me it's fine, no problem with that. Uh, you know, very unsound judgment of the political status of uh, the Liberal Party in the Nigerian context. That is the only reason why I will, with a lot of restraint, you know, Say one or two words. He he must be living in another planet. I mean, if he's if he's so, I don't know what is blinding him for him to say that there are only two people in this in this parliament, and uh, it's only APC and PDP. Even a blind person, even a young child of nine years old, know that this is absolute fallacy. Uh, he you know Professor Solido must be indulging himself in some uh, self-deluding uh, uh, or self-political -delu delusions, you know, today, you know, all, you know, you know, of all 90% of uh, 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 polls done today says that, you know, Peter Obi is well ahead of the other contestants. So 
I mean, you know, I mean, it's 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 it, it's no longer news that the, it's a three-cornered race, and even in this in this three-cornered race, we are no longer the third force. We are now, you know, we, are, we have now taken over, you know, we have, we have bypassed the two establishments, and these two are the ones that are now contesting for second and third positions. So, you know, uh, Professor Solido's uh, uh, Professor Solido's uh, uh, pronouncements have nothing to do with reality or common sense or even what you know what is on ground. You know, but you know, I said before, ordinarily, you know, but it is just that we, you know I will not. I mean, the Director General of the campaign, and it is my duty to disabuse the minds of fallacies that you know do come against us. We know these things will happen, uh, and we are prepared for it. But the Nigerian people, you know, Saludo can say whatever he likes, but the Nigerian people know what is, what is current, what is real. And I'm so happy that he said, uh, at least he considered that uh, 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 Peter Obi will win uh, uh, Anambra State. Well, that's, that's, that's good news. Where he messed it up completely, which we have not quoted, <laughs> and then he made the whole thing look so ludicrous. And uh, I don't want to use bad language here. You know, I mean, when you say that uh, people, I mean, Peter will get 25% in maybe four states of the Federation, I mean, I mean that is a, it's a joke. You know, it's, it's, that should not come from an educated Nigerian, from a professor. Well, well you know, this is politics, and, uh, uh, you know, in politics, it's an all commerce game. You know, Professor Soludo is, uh, is, a, is a professor of economics, I think. He's not a soothsayer and he's not a prophet. And definitely, he's not too grounded politically. You know, and what makes a reasonable man, an educated man, an intelligent man like Soludo, you know, say such blatant lie? It's, it's, you know, it has to be something very deep. The gentleman seems to be so consumed with whatever negative or evil passion that is on his mind that he is totally befuddled and confused. You know, I was just trying to take you through. Go and ask anybody, even go and ask a mechanic in my village in Peru. Look, everybody knows that, you know, there's nothing that will happen. You know, 80% of evil people will vote for Peter Obi in this presidential election. I'm not talking about gubernatorial. That's five states. In the south-south states, I do not see any of the two leading candidates that will come close to Peter Obi. Welcome back, guys. This is to DJMTV Daily News Update. So here we have it with Art from the DG of Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Council, who have said that um, Soludo must be living in a dream world and not in this planet who have said that there are only two parties in the race, which he said are the PDP and the APC. The Yokupe has made it clear that Peter Obi is also in the race. Doing Yokupe has also said that uh, Soludo acknowledged the fact that um, Anambra is for Peter Obi and Peter Obi will win Anambra massively and also he does not expect a professor to speak in the manner that Soludo did. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments? Recall that a lot of um, people on social media has reacted to what Soludo said when he issued the statement that the investment of Peter Obi is worth next to nothing and later came out and said that Peter Obi will not win the 2023 general election. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to this and report as it that the son allegedly said he is not in line with his father but he stands with Peter Obi and now Donyo Kupe has come out to clear the air that Peter Obi is a threat in the southern state and in the southern state both in the southeast and the south south he does not see any of the two leading candidates who will win peter will be in any of the states what are your thoughts and comments share them with us in the comment section below